going? Good. Good. Frankie, how much Frank do you, you feel like you learned from the start of the weekend to the end of the race? Oh man, I'm just trying to think back of like during the race. That was uh, honestly, honestly one of the most insane things I've ever done in my life. Um, you cannot prepare for what it feels like being in the car at Daytona, three wide, bumper to bumper, people hitting you from behind in the corners where they shouldn't, you know, but I'm thrilled. I mean, obviously, you know, we got up into the top three and, you know, I, I thought we could definitely stay there, but then the 15 got into us and uh, caused a lot of damage. Um, so we had to go to the back, but the fact that we went from 24th to 11th in the last two laps is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, the car was really hard to drive with the damage. I like, you know, normally in the corner, you're like, you, you hold the wheel around here. I was almost full lock just to keep the car on the bottom. And uh, I just kept my foot in it and, and got lucky, I guess. Uh, uh, I'm so excited for Talladega because I know I've got a fast car. I know we could potentially win that race. Now with the experience that I got here, um, but at the same time, I'm also like, wow, I got to do that again. <laughs> what do you think? 22 years ago today, you had the opportunity to take a different type of ride around this racetrack. I mean, how cool is it? But to this day, 22 years ago. It, it is pretty wild. I, I, I knew that coming in. And, you know, obviously 22 years ago, it was, it, was, it was great to be at the race and get to experience it. But it was also a really somber day. And that was the last time I came here for a race. Um, so the fact that I'm in the car on the track, you know, doing the same thing that I was watching as a fan uh, is pretty insane. If I never did another race again, forever, I can say that I did this. You know what I mean? Forever, I can say that, you know, we got into the top five. We were in the top three. We showed that we had speed. We were fastest in practice. You know what I mean? Which proved to myself that I belong here and hopefully to other people as well. Um, that said, it's a long season. You know, obviously I would have liked to finish in the top five where we, where we were. Um, but in that same sense, 11th is not bad for points. You know, I, I, I'm still in it for the championship. You know, we're not out after one race. It's a long season. So uh, I'm going to just keep trying to learn as quickly as possible. You know, I know that some of the short tracks are going to be a little bit more difficult for me just to kind of learn the race craft. And then you get, what, a 30-minute practice session, and then you go into the race. So, But at the same time, I'm so eager to learn. I want to do whatever I can to prepare. And I'm... Uh, you know, hopefully uh, you guys see me as a race car driver and not just the actor slash race car driver. <laughs> what was the <laughs> most memorable or hair-raising moment that you had out there? You know, I, I kind of was yelling in the radio early on, like, you know, I felt more calm than I thought I'd be, but like the four, he was literally just plowing into us. And I got, like, we were so squirrely on the back. Like, we almost wrecked, he almost wrecked us 10 times. I mean, I know he wrecked like three other guys. But like, I'm just like, it's lap 19. Like, so in my head, I'm thinking, we just need to survive to the end. But then I forget that most people that are in this race aren't doing the whole season. They're going for the win. You know what I mean? So like, I, we're trying to be conservative in the sense and like wait to the halfway break or whatever, you know what I mean? To Before we really start pushing, learn, learn what the car does. But, uh, you know, other people are, have different agendas. But um, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I think the 15 got into us who drove my car last year and, and you know, pushed it in 73. And we got a lot of damage. Um, the, the, the front right was towed in like like you know when we were by ourselves we, we've lost the pack completely but when you're in the draft you, we could stay there we just really hard to drive but i'm so thankful for my team hair club for like this is a dream this has taken two years to get here i've been trying to do this for two years they came on board and made it reality and you know um you know we're still looking for some more sponsors so if you guys want to come on board hit us up <laughs> thanks guys